Well, thank you folks for hiring Galloway Building Services. We, uh, my name is Troy Galloway. I'm the owner of the company, and uh, I personally wanted to reach out to you, kind of explain what should you expect from a home inspection. Because I know it's a big world and a lot of expectations, and we want to make sure that we are literally getting you exactly what you need. This is a little quick video, so when we come onto the project, you'll know what it is to be looking for. When we come onto the home and do the inspection, first thing we like to do is do a visual inspection of the exterior. What we look for on the exterior is I'm looking around on the windows. I want to make sure that we don't have any leakage or caulking issues or moisture issues. If moisture issues is big. We want to make sure we don't have any problems with that. We also want to make sure with siding, uh, gaps, anything like that, grading, any kind of possible moisture issues that may end up in the basement. We like to start on the outside because that gives us an idea of what to be looking for on the inside. Also, when I get up on the roof, then I'm going to go up on the roof and take a look. Now, yes, we are looking at the shingles, but we're also looking at everything on the roof. I'm looking at the gutters, the downspouts, the drainage. I'm looking at our, our stack pipes, our chimney, the conditions of all of these things, and also all of the flashing around all of these items. So these are exactly the uh, things that you need to know, because these are big ticket items, things you need to know about what it is that's happening with your home. I like to not just talk about the bad of your home, I like to also talk back about the good, bad, and the ugly. Because a lot of times there's a lot of great things happening in your home that's unique. And that's you kind of need to know that too. So we get the outside all done. I'm looking at the deck, I check out the roof, I check out the siding, but then we kind of then wander into the house. We kind of got a good outside vision so we know if there's anything specifically we need to be also drilling deeper into the home. So I start down in the basement and I'm in the basement I'm looking at your structural, you know, I'm looking at the foundation walls, the sump pit, we're looking at the furnace, the floor joist, we're looking at the hot water heater, we get into the breaker box, we check out the wiring. So what we do is then we go upstairs and then we go into the kitchen and I like to turn on all the water into the whole home. Okay, let all that water run the whole time that we're working as much as possible. So where I turn on the, the dishwasher, I'm checking the cabinets, I'm checking your stove, microwave, everything that's inside of your kitchen, all of your built-in appliances. That's very important because these are also big ticket items. Then I'm checking internally, I'm checking the bathroom, also all the fixtures in the bathroom, letting the water still run. And we check all of the, make sure the tubs don't have any kind of backup issues or any kind of drainage issues. We're also looking at the exhaust fans and see in the bathroom, see what's happening with that. And then what I also like to do, and because this is a big help and a lot, this really tells me a lot of what's happening is on our building. I want to check all my doors. I want to see how they're shutting. Are they shutting right? Is anything moving? These are very important. I also uh, go into, I also check all my windows. Uh, and now that we're going to talk about that in just a minute, but we want to check out all our windows, make sure they're all operating fine. Make sure we don't have any broken seals. So that's a big item too. If we got any kind of hang ups, that tells me of the condition of movement of the home. We check everything from lights, receptacles, all the way up into the attic and I'm looking at the insulation up there. I'm looking to see if you've got hazardous waste for insulation, which there's a lot of in, in the Midwest. I'm also checking to see any kind of moisture issues, any kind of uh, even animal issues that possibly up in the attic. What we actually are checking for is approximately 700 plus items in a home inspection. Now, kind of just a brief a, a summary of what we don't check, unless it's something that you need to have specifically checked. If it's an environmental issue, yes, if I see asbestos, a lad or something like that, then that would be a different testing format uh, and situation that we want to, but I will call that to your attention that if you need that. Also, if we don't also check to see if, if indeed you got a gas leak or anything like that. Now we can, all these inspections, but they're not the general inspection. Uh, so we can take care of any kind of item that you're looking for, 
but what we're focused on is your general inspection and then if you have any other issues we can expand from there. We also don't check the warranties of the products. So if there's any callbacks or anything with that, we don't take care, we don't check on that unless you ask us to. We can do that and we do that for folks, but we want to try to keep your costs down and be for the specific big ticket items. Well, folks, I look forward to working with you. Uh, if it's not me, it'll be one of the fellows, but if you'd like to have me to come to your inspection, Troy Galloway, the owner of the company, I'd love to be the one. So thank you, looking forward to seeing you.